And we're bringing some chilly temperatures in your forecast going forward. It's gray overcast and feeling a lot like uh, classic Seattle weather around here. 43 degrees, gray skies. This is our camera at Stadium Place. Cold temperatures, our biggest weather headline the next few days. Lows in the 20s, highs in the 30s tomorrow and Monday. When we see a cold snap like this, a lot of people wonder, well, are we going to get some lowland snow? The answer to that is not very much, and for the most part, it's not going to be a big deal. Today, there could be some snowflakes mixing with rain, where a couple of showers pop up, but accumulations are very unlikely. And I think actually most of us will be dry today. There's another window of opportunity for a little bit of lowland snow, maybe late Tuesday, early Wednesday. Those chances don't look very high. It's not going to be widespread or heavy and accumulations also not expected at this point in time. We talked about the cold temperatures, pops of lowland snow, then wind tonight, tomorrow morning with gusts to 50 miles per hour for the San Juans and the North Sound. Brutal single digit wind chills in those areas into early tomorrow morning. This dense cold air mass is just blasting through the Fraser River Valley, kicking up the winds and giving those spots really tough wind chills tomorrow. In the upper levels, we've got this area of low pressure well to our south. Now that's going to hog all of the showers again into the uh, California area. For us, the next couple of days, we're going to be mainly dry and just chilly. We do that wind advisory in effect, the Fraser River Valley winds. Here we go. This advisory, 6 o'clock tonight, 6 a.m. tomorrow. With those gusts of 50 miles per hour, I'd secure any patio furniture and charge your phones. I just want to make sure that you're ready for some power outages. And power outages would be really tough, too, considering how cold it's going to be tomorrow morning. This is a look at our future cast, highlighting the chance for some showers over the south sound. Many of us dry into noon, cloudy skies, couple of sun breaks into three o'clock, maybe if some passing showers through six, it will be dry altogether through later on tonight. High temperatures, mid to upper 40s, uh, closing in on 50 degrees, Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, about 47 for Kent, Retton, 47 for Issaquah. We're in the mid 40s, Auburn through Lakewood, Centralia, 47 north sound today. We've got you hovering in the mid 40s and along the coast. It's a very similar situation with 46 for Forks today. Okay, here's the seven-day forecast. It's frigid tomorrow and Monday, but at least we'll have a lot of sunshine tomorrow and Monday too. Late Tuesday, Wednesday, couple of spots of lowland flurries, a light shower Thursday with sun breaks, and a slight uptick in the shower chances on Friday. All right, hourly temperatures and more. That's coming up next.